what were your impressions of uh, Manziel out there? Hey, he had no chance because, uh, you know, we, we were able to, you know, my whole life is kind of funny. The game was over. I got a text from uh, Bernie Kozar. And Bernie Kozar, we got a text from Joe Theismann. And they said, collapse the pocket, bring one in the face, and play tight man. I think I've seen it before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, that, you know, we collapsed the pocket, swooped the guy outside to his face, and, and played uh, not one snap of zone. So all of a sudden uh, – quarterbacks have bad days as you know no of course absolutely and it was his first uh opportunity up there uh in canada do you see somebody in there uh that was out there on that field that uh has the ability to excel at this sport do you think jerry at this level well what, what i did i went back and watched all the games he played at a&m uh, we had a long train ride we had a five-hour train ride uh to to uh, to the game site so as i was riding the train they one of my guys put it on a computer, and I watched everything that he did at A&M. And then that night, we made about three little wrinkles, which uh, would negate any success that he had at A&M. What is a shock to me is that what we did, no SEC coordinator ever put on him. Uh, what we ran, nobody ever ran at him. And, and you just wonder, the SEC coordinators are highly paid but they must be highly overpaid because uh, uh, our, our deal we put together riding on a train. Uh, you think somebody else would have run that out? That's the first time he saw that package. Are you serious? No, nobody yes. attempted in the SEC what you did in the CFL on Friday night? No, not one guy. We, we looked at all the film. And I said, well, he's having success because he th this is not happening, and he's playing zone. He's, playing, he's throwing to number three slant in a zone. And he's making the zone guy come up with the play fake. Well, you know, we, you know, welcome to pro football. This ain't bula bula. <laughs> Jerry Glanville joining us here on the Rich Eisen Show. So I guess last question on this for you is, do you think he has what it takes? Do you think he has the skill set to succeed, uh, certainly when he's seeing stuff for the first time? Uh, I think, you know what you never do, and, and this is my rule with, with, with June, when he worked for me, and it's been my rule forever. You never, ever give up on deep ball accuracy. And in our practices, when he was with us, he has deep ball accuracy. And if you can throw a 55-yarder on the, and where it's supposed to be, uh, you know, then you do other things to help him, uh, better protection, uh, uh, better receivers, but he's got deep ball accuracy, so I'd never give up on him. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.